The D man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs> Yo, it's your boy D's Media back again with another video. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel on the road to 100K. Today we're going to talk about Aiden Walker. And I'll go with to my air trip club 600.26. Yeah. 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 Uh, when, this, when this kid was, uh, or this young man was seven years old, he was featured on ESPN uh, um, for uh, winning the national championship in a 150 uh, meter run. Um, it's just crazy how that, you know, um, he, he he went from having so much potential being on national TV, because when you're on ESPN, that's as big as it get, you know, to, to nine years later, 10 years later, you know, getting arrested for, you know, uh, a double hat and other crimes throughout Philadelphia. Now I get it that you know Philadelphia ain't 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 no peaches and cream city. You know it'll take a um a, a nice boy and a turn him to a grown man overnight. But the fact that that boy has so much potential in his future that you could tell that he didn't have the right guidance around him because you don't go from being a national championship and racing and and being on TV and getting all these gold medals and that's your focus in life, you know what I'm saying, becoming a runner or just becoming an athlete to nine years later, you getting arrested for um, a double hat. You know what I'm saying? That lets you know that 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 young man was around the wrong influence. You get what I'm saying? And that's where a lot of these shorties is going wrong at. A lot of these shorties have bright futures and have great intelligent mindset. It's just that they hanging around the wrong crowd or the wrong homies and it's easy to be persuaded. You know, um, a lot of the times in the hood, they look at you as being weak or being a lame or a goofy if you ain't willing to crash out or go do something crazy. But the same people that's crashing out crazy, you starting to see they getting hit with Rico's indictments, they losing their lives and they getting and they going to 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 prison or they waking up shameful years years from now. But I just feel like, man, we all got to take credit and responsibility for for Aiden Waters, man, because there's so many kids that got bright futures in these urban communities and in the hood. But the fact that they don't have um, uh, proper guidance or they don't have somebody that's looking out for them and protecting them, you know what I'm saying, so that they can be successful in their future, you know, that's the reason why a lot of these shorties is crashing out because... They don't see too many successful people in, in, in their neighborhood. They don't see too many doctors, lawyers, basketball players, football players. But you look up, you see gang members, you see crooked police, you see um, you see the steppers, you see the riders, you see all of them every day in, in your neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? So I just felt like, man, if this child would have been in the proper guidance and had the proper care and the proper love and the proper situation, there's nowhere in the world eight, nine years later will he be charged with the YBC dual hit and other hits, man. At 16 years old, he just threw his life away, man. And I guarantee you, man, he didn't have the proper guidance to show him, man, right from wrong, man. But a lot of these shorties out here, they learning as they go, man. But I'm trying to tell you, man, there's more than life, man, to then just gang banging and giving your life up for, for a gang that set a block of neighborhood, man. Because when you look up years down the line, man, if you still alive, man, or if you ain't locked up in prison for the rest of your life, you're going to be in the watch all your friends pass away, man. And what type of life is that, man? And I keep telling y'all young brothers, man, they giving us the tools to destroy each other, man. Because the more we destroy each other, the more that they make, man. They make money from the police. They make money from the hospital. They make money from the lawyers. They make money from the pharmaceutical companies. When we get hit up, they make money all the way around the board, man. So I'm just telling y'all, man, they're going to keep giving us the tools to keep destroying each other because they're going to keep sitting back and making billions of dollars. If we stop harming each other for a year straight, watch how many companies will go out of business. Watch how many hospitals will go out of business. Watch how many law enforcement will get laid off. Watch how many lawyers will, 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 will get laid off. Watch how many judges will get fired. Watch how many state prosecutors and attorneys will lose their job. Watch how many governors and, and presidents will lose their job, man. Everybody make money and get a promotion, man, when we harm each other. All we got to do is wake up and realize that. But it's your boy, D's Media, signing out, man. But um, 
Peace, positivity, man. Network growth, man. I love y'all so much, man. But I just wanted to give y'all this story about uh, the 16-year-old Aiden Waters that just got arrested for the YBC dude hit and other um, hits and throughout Philadelphia. But it was crazy to me that this boy was featured on um, ESPN uh, winning the national championship in a 150-mile run. And then eight, nine years later, he got a lifestyle of a of a, a notorious gangster. And the only thing I could put two and two together is he didn't have the proper right guidance because you don't go for one to be an athlete one day to years down the line that. And I get it, man. Philadelphia is rough, man. But if we don't guide these kids, man, to a, to a successful future, man, we're going to keep losing them. It's your boy D's Media signing out. The D, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga from D's Media. You feel me? <laughs>